Hello everyone, my name is Chen Xue. I am a postdoc in Martin Cohen's lab at the University of Pittsburgh. My topic here today is decision making under dynamic cognitive states. With carefully controlled behaving animal experiment, we have learned a great deal about decision making, yet real life decisions are affected by a wide variety of cognitive states including mood and bias to belief, level of concentrations, and so on. Um, but the universal challenge here is that first, these cognitive states are all internal, so you better have mind reading superpower to study them. And second, these cognitive states are also dynamically changing over time, so you need to be a fast mind reader too. So let me show you the secrets of our superpower when uh, we studied one kind of cognitive state called task belief. So when we make a decision on a task, we hold an internal belief that this task is relevant. And uh, just like this animal switching between picking fruits and fleeing predators, task belief evolves uh, with the changing environment too. These belief states usually um, are usually inferred or updated based on past experience. Um, it is critical yet unknown how we infer what task we should do or uh, whether that inference process has an impact on the decisions in those tasks themselves. So uh, let me tell you how we capture and manipulate the dynamic task belief states. To address these challenges, we train the macaque monkeys to perform a complex task where they report both their task belief and perceptual decisions. Um, during which we also did large-scale extracellular recordings across brain areas. So specifically, the monkeys were shown two subsequent Gabor stimuli and were required to discriminate either the spatial location change or the spatial frequency change. The task demand implicitly switched between the two features over time, and the monkeys therefore needed to infer what is the current task demand and uh, perform the perceptual task accordingly. Um, so with recordings from populations of neurons in areas that are known to encode task and uh, uh, decision information um, here areas 7a and v1, we were able to decode both belief and decision information on a trial by trial basis. And with those powerful tools, we found that task belief and decision making have interesting interactions on the cognitive, uh, on the metacognitive level. And what I mean is that first, the level of confidence that the chosen task is relevant interferes with perceptual decision performance. So here we see when subjects are confident in the behavioral relevance of their chosen task, their perceptual decisions are more accurate in the task of their choice. However, this belief strength dependent perceptual accuracy difference is never observed during the process an artificial neural network was trained to perform the same task. We therefore hypothesize that this reflects a new biological constraint um, where task re relevant information is better represented when the animal is more confident about the task. So to test this, we use the linear discriminant analysis to decode the confidence about task belief and perceptual discriminability in 7a and v1 respectively. And um, as the example session showed, there is an overall positive correlation between belief strengths and perceptual discriminability when the feature is considered relevant, but not when it is considered irrelevant. The difference uh, between correlation coefficients are highly significant across sessions. These results show a um, neuronal interaction specific to the subjective task um, uh, belief of the individual. And finally, um, since we just showed that uh, fluctuations in task confidence is affecting perception, does it work the other way around? So, are supposedly higher level processes such as task switching also affected by lower level noise fluctuations in early visual cortex? So we built a normative model to predict when the animal would switch 
to a different task based on past decisions, feedback, and fluctuations in perceptual confidence decoded from population activities in V1. We found that uh, if we randomly shuffle V1 activities across trials with identical stimulus choice feedback conditions, the resulting model cannot predict the monkey's task switching behavior as well as the model with original V1 activities. This shows that fluctuations in past decision confidence significantly affects the future choices of the relevant task. So in all, these results show that task belief and decision making belong to one integrated system distributed across multiple brain areas. And such a system should be studied as a whole to uh, lead to a more holistic understanding of cognitive flexibility and uh, decision making in health and disease. And I'm hoping this research approach would be applied to understand uh, many other cognitive states affecting decision making. And I'll end my presentation on acknowledgement of the people and funding that made this work possible. If you are interested in further details of this work, please check out our preprint paper on BioArchive. Thank you.